Alrighty, hey guys, Curse Cabba 17 here. And uh We're back with more Super Brothers Sword and Sorcery. I don't think it's sorcery. I'm pretty sure sorcery doesn't have a W. But I actually know the name of the game, or at least how to pronounce it. So last episode did session one. So they were gonna be doing session two. I actually just uploaded episode one today so at the time of recording this so let's just hop into it hmm <laughs> All right. It's lovely to see you again. Are you ready to begin session two of S, S, and S? Yeah, S, S, and S, E, P. Okay, so where where were we? All oh, right, now I remember. You got a burdensome book known as the Megatomb. You woke the deathless specter who still lurks in the darkness beneath Minji Ta. What a creep. Am I right? <laughs> it is a time of woe. A sinister thunderstorm has clouded the skies, and the lovely people who live in the hut are miserable. Silencing the storm will require some familiarity. Familiarity with psionics, cryptozoology, and miracles. Number one. A sorcerer's touch will unseal the megatomb. Revealing the unspoken thoughts of living creatures and other estoric material. Strange Sylvian sprites, swarces of sorcery, slumber in ponds, woods, and meadows. Seek their subtle sono sonorous spumes. Got some weird words. Three, a sorcerer, a swart. Hold up. Let me ask Siri this. Give me a second. Yeah, it is Swarce. What the heck? Like, it's not, they're not spelling it. It's not spelled right. Okay. A Swarcerer can locate, summon, and tame the cosmic geometry of the Golden Trigon. Will, will possesses the ability to work miracles. Confused, excellent. Keep calm and carry on. All right. Will do. All right. Oh, are we in like a... We're like farther back. I see. So far, I really like this game. It's pretty cool. The dark haired girl known as Girl was feeling the woe. Ever since the storm began, the girl had seen some sonorous spumes of Sylvian sprites who slumbered in the woods nearby. She wondered if maybe three Sylvian sprites could help her lift the storm. She asked us to investigate the sonorous spume bubbling up out of the deep water pond outside the hut. The girl spoke of a sprite in the meadow nearby and yet another sprite in, in a nest box that was home to three rain-soaked songbirds. The girl told us to seek the sonorous spumes of the three Sylvir Sylvan sprites and send them skyward with the song of sorcery it's too much words for me i'm not gonna talk to the log boy uh 
How are you here? It's time to learn the Song of Sorcery. A consciousness expansion technique that reveals a mystical musical dimension. Keep calm and follow my directions to summon the Sylvian Sprite that softly slumbers in the cool waters of the deep water pond. Tap and hold. That was cool. We sang a song of sorcery and summoned a slumbering sylvan sprite from the cool waters of, of a deep water pond. So strange. Alrighty then. I'd imagine we have to go over here. Oh. Very nicely done. You've learned the song of sorcery and now the unfathomable power of the Megatomb is yours. The Megatomb intercepts linguistic thought, transmissions, and it contains everything you'll need to complete your woeful errand. I'm thinking about something right this moment. Why not open the Megatomb and look for me to find out what's on my mind? Look for a white triangle in the top right, tap it, and then equip the Megatomb to reveal what is hidden. Right, me. So, no, wait, what? So, this is the Megatomb. It is absorbing linguistic thought transmissions. Am I reading my thoughts as I'm thinking them? Hmm. As you can see, the Megatomb gathers and collects linguistic thought transmissions. Scroll down to see what I'm thinking before. Oh! You guys can read that if you want. I don't really care. That's interesting, though. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's cool. So I can like hold, like I can like click and hold on myself. Oh, there's stuff over here. Oh yeah, there's the little bubbling. Yup. That mushroom's having a seizure, so. There's some sort of code. Whoa. 
What? Hmm. So... Oh, okay. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from the rich earth of a meadow containing four pairs of worthless sheep. I'm a pro. I'm just saying. I'm like a puzzle wizard. Are we able to walk back here? Let's go over there. In the meadow, there was an immovable iron gate blocking a cavernous cave. Guess we can't go over there. Oh. It's going to show a ship. Oh, dog. Bark, 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 bark. Bark, sniff, bark. Sometimes I grow weary of barking all the time, but a dog's got to do what a dog's got to do. What a dog's... Got a doo doo. All right. So I think we just have to find one more, right? Oh, right there. Okay. So I can click on these little bird kind of looking dudes. Okay. What? Oh. Cool. Bird puzzles. We just woke a slumbering sylvan sprite from a curious nest box. I, for some reason, I thought I was going to say Xbox. I don't know. Surrounded by three rain-soaked bir songbirds. So now what? We want to go down there? Is that just telling us to 
go meet up with the lady. Probably just telling us to go meet up with the lady. Oh, wait, shoot. Why are you? No, 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 no. Why are you right there? Sorry. The girl stood sheltered from the rain beneath the broad wooden roof of the well. She had left the comfort of the hearth in the hut because apparently Logfellow was freaking out about something or other. So we grab the harp. Well, you probably have to talk to him. The woeful woodsman known as Logfellow was totally freaking out about something. Apparently, Logfellow had lost the key to the locked door in the stone wall that blocked the old road to Minjita. We were like grown, not another fetch quest, am I right? Logfellow told us he had been sitting right there by the fire when he had fallen into a deep sleep. Logfellow said he thought he had lost his key in the Twilight Realm's realm of dreams. We'd heard about the strange dreams of the dark-haired mountain folk of the Caucasus. So this made perfect sense to us. Logfellow invited us to warm our boots by the fire and dream along with him. All right. Seek a warm hearth and allow sleep to come to discover the threshold of limited something. Oh, nuts. Where's Where has my key gone? I'm so upset and shamed. Now I'm totally freaking out. I've seen the Scythian, Scythian sing a song of sorcery and send three Sylvian spites, sprites skyward. I wonder if they will help soothe the storm. Well, not gonna lie. Kinda trying. Oh, I can't do anything. I have to stay. Uh, okay. I have to take big nap. Are you telling me we just did session two? We're mega fast. No, wait, we didn't. Oh. Dream. I don't like that noise. That's probably just music. Bunnies. We're gonna go down here. Deer? Bone? Go over to the left. Oh! Oh, I see that little... This is a little scary. Yeah, no, that's definitely a little frightening. Oh. Bright moon looms and we just woke a sylvan sprite in a hidden grove where I'm where Jim Guthrie happened to be hanging out.
All right, he's playing his song now. I've got this song in my head, a happy and sad little song that fills me with a weirdly beautiful dread. All right. Well, then I'm gonna just dip. You're welcome, I guess. Now he's playing a different kind of melody. I don't know why I said that weird, but I did. Bane. All right. Now, I want to say that that's just a different way we could have calmed down. Oh, what is that? Oh, no, 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 no. Come, no, stop. Hold up. Magicalness. Okay. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh, I'm bringing the baby turtles up to the big turtle. The bright moon looms and we just woke a sylvan sprite from the still waters of a lake where a mother duck was freaking out. I thought we were about to go on a boss fight against a giant duck. So I think this is where we just could have came from another route. Yeah. Nothing big. Oh, there's another thing. Reflect. Let's see what we got to do. Where's that bunny there? There's a bunny in the reflection. This definitely has something to do with the water. I don't want to miss, I don't want to, like, give up on this. Or maybe we have to go up here for some reason. Am I supposed to really be picking these up? Oh, whoa. Oh. Now I'm on an acid trip. Great. Now I bet.
Man. This really sucks. I don't... Oh. What's so special about it? It was just like... Had like smoke coming off of it. That just looks normal. Oh, my God. I'm pointing out the things that aren't there. Okay. Okay. Oh. Oh, because that's not there. That's not there. Oh, I got it. What am I telling you? I'm so smart. The bright moon looms. And we just woke a sylvan sprite where the lake's reflection was ever so slightly incongru in incongruous. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, dog. Bark, bark, bark. Nice. Let's go. Oh. Oh, there's another one. Oh, worm. Uh. That one felt pretty obvious. The bright moon looms and we just woke a sylvan sprite who slumbered in the lake beneath a trifecta of owls. Yeah, that one was pretty obvious. Oh, this was the key. Thought it was a worm. <laughs> So we sleep in the dream world and we wake up. I'd imagine that's how. The woodsman was super relieved that we had managed to retrieve his lost key from the twilight realm of dreams. The woodsman known as Logfella wondered how we got so smart and he asked about our woeful errand. We told the woodsman how we had come of age on the step, steppies steps alongside, I don't know, that's spelled weird, but alongside our fearless Scythian sisters and brothers. We told Logfella why we wandered here in the mountain wilderness and how we were guided by the finger of an all-knowing god. We told Logfella about what we suspected the esoteric markings inside the megatome would, might signify. We had a hunch that we needed to summon a few more sylvan sprites to soothe the storm. In a hushed whisper, we, we spoke of our intention to locate and tame a manifestation of cosmic geometry known as the Gold Trigon. It was 100% clear that the woodsman known as Logfella had stopped paying attention. We figured we could just hang on to the key and go for a walk on the old road beyond the stone wall. Alright. Well, let's go. 